When I moved to the village in 1963, I had already been making records for two years, and I wound up living downtown on West 10th and, and Hudson and hanging out with all the singers that were there in that time. Dylan had started singing and writing and recording and Eric Anderson was there. Tom Paxson used to come down the street and say, you know, I just wrote this song, bottle of wine, fruit on the vine, when you gonna let me get sober, would you like to record it? And so I would do that and I met so many wonderful singers and songwriters. I didn't write songs at the time myself, so I was collecting songs and looking for singers and songwriters. And one night I got a phone call from my friend Al Cooper, and that was how I met Joni Mitchell. I hadn't known her at all. She was a newcomer on the scene and trying to get a job and trying to get her songs sung. And at three in the morning, he put her on the phone and she sang me both sides now. And for me and for her, I guess, that was how it all began. One day, I was invited up to Woodstock to go to the, the home of my friend and there was a little party there and Dylan was there and he, he was with Susie Rodolo at that point. Just kind of not quite with Joan, but getting there. And we had a party and everybody had a lovely time and I went to sleep and uh, woke up about three in the morning and I heard a voice coming up the steps and it was... Uh, And so I crept out of bed and went down the steps in my little terry cloth nightgown and sat outside this closed door. It was blue and it was in the basement really and I sat outside that door and I listened for about two hours while Dylan wrote this song. Though I know that evening's empire has returned into sand, vanished from my hand. Left me blindly here to stand, but still not sleeping. My weariness amazes me, I'm branded on my feet. I have no one to meet, and the ancient empty streets too dead for dreaming. Haunted, twisted 
Let me forget about today until tomorrow. 